Well, Matt's giving me an undercut. It's hot as balls and it's something that I've always wanted. And I also have like a little bit of like a weird, like irritation. like irritation on the back of my neck. So it's like easier to like get to it and like treat it. He's gonna cut like a full section of my hair just off so he can- Make the shaving easier. Yeah. All right. Can't go back now. Can't go back now. Oh. <laughs> Oh my God. <laughs> Yo. <laughs> oh, shit. You look like a 12 year old boy from like here down. I love it. Oh my God. <laughs> this is the weirdest thing ever. Yeah, it's pretty weird. All right. Oh ready? my God, my hair is so long. All right, come here. Look at that. I'm about to get shaved. Um, I should probably grab like a this is the most chaotic I've ever been. <laughs> feels so good. I bet. I have a shaved head now, basically. I'm gonna try and show this to you guys. Ah, so you can kind of see it. I'll show you guys uh, better um, when this thing on the back of my head like heals a little bit better. For now, I'm gonna get Mr. Kirby Man because he's super mad because he's been in his crate crate for longer than he usually is. It's okay, sweet boy. It's okay, my sweet boy. Where are you? It's okay, my sweet boy. Are you? Good morning. Yes, hello, good morning. I know, you were in there for so long. Kirby, you want? Kirby, you want to go outside? Yeah, let's go outside. Can you sit? Sit? <laughs> I know, good boy. So it's been a minute since I have done a vlog and there's really only one main reason for that. And that reason is the fact that as I was sort of getting in like the swing of doing this on a weekly basis, um, some really uh, crazy and important shit was going on in the world. And frankly, it didn't feel appropriate for me to be like, doing home projects, <laughs> things that in the grand scheme of the conversation does not matter. More important conversations needed to be had. I was taking the time to just like really reflect on everything that was being said and going on and sort of just like determining what it is that I can do to make things better for people. If you're someone who has been protesting more power to you because you're a badass and we need people out in the streets. For me and Matt personally, because of the coronavirus, we just didn't feel comfortable going out in like a large crowd of people. A lot of the things that we ended up doing were obviously signing as many petitions as we possibly could find. Um, but then also like really having some good, meaningful conversations, um, mostly with our family, but with our friends as well. Um, and watching films and reading articles and just really trying to educate ourselves. You know, there's always room to be better. And so that's, that's you know, the approach that we took as far as um, really taking the time to, to just focus on that. So if you haven't done anything in regards to supporting Black Lives Matter or looking into any of the protests or had any conversations with your friends and family, um, pause this video. I'm going to link a website that has been really helpful uh, to me during this time um, down in uh, the description. And so I highly encourage you to go check that out. And the only reason I'm starting back up now is because frankly, I sort of love doing this. I do this for myself and it's, it's a way for me to be able to talk through things and think through things and just kind of look at 
the things that are going on in my life um, in an artistic light. We've got some fun things happening. The main thing is Matt and I are sort of packing up everything and um, not everything, we're not moving, but we're um, taking the dogs and taking the cats and we're driving up to Park City, Utah for at least all of August and potentially September and maybe October. So the next couple of things that you are going to see are things that have happened over the last couple of weeks. Um, and the next time you will see me, see us, we will be on the road heading up to Park City. We've decided to see if Kirby likes peanut butter. If Kirby likes peanut butter. Oh, it's Mr. Fun. Kirby, you don't even know what's coming. Oh, ooh, what is it? <laughs> I think he likes peanut butter. <laughs> Today, I am going to make um, peanut butter and jelly cookies. This recipe belongs to uh, the chef, um, at Fat Ox in Scottsdale, Rochelle Danielle. She posted this just on her personal Facebook page and um, I had the foresight to screenshot it and now we're gonna make it. I was just talking about you. Me? Yeah. Come here. <laughs> and so you put like a little bit of jelly in at the base and then you put the chunky peanut butter in and then you like put it, like you like scrunch it back together and then you bake them. Do you want some help? <laughs> no. Don't get oil all over it, then I no, won't I be washed, able to help. I washed my hands. It's not coming off. <laughs> Thanks, I husband. <laughs> white people say, oh, I loosened it up for you. <laughs> <laughs> it's true. Oh God, I think I'm doing too much jelly. I don't think you're ready for this jelly. I don't think you're ready for this jelly. I could also just do jelly because the entire cookie is peanut butter. <laughs> Probably but like I froze all this peanut butter. I feel Did like, you freeze it? well, I made it cold. So it's not frozen. Stop. We're gonna, it's one big experiment, babe. We're gonna see how this goes. You're doing a small batch first, right? I'm not. I doubled the recipe. <laughs> I don't think you're ready for this. You might buy some booty dishes for like me. Is that the same song? That's the same song. No. I don't know. No, it's not the same song. No, it is. It is, right? Hey, this dog. Hey Alexa, play Bootylicious by J-Lo. Hey guys, this is Editing Katie, and I realize my error in this moment. Uh, the song is not by J-Lo, it is by Destiny's Child. <laughs> so don't come for me in the comments, thank you. Um, okay, so these are my frozen pieces of peanut butter, and they're definitely just kind of cold. So we're gonna... Oh God, this is probably gonna fail like really bad. This one has too much jelly. I know there's no such thing as too much jelly, but that one has too much jelly. We're gonna be like little like dumplings. I have no idea 
look what I'm doing. It's like the worst thing that's gonna happen is they don't look good. But they're gonna taste good. Oh my God. Look at that. Come here, put like Santa right here. Ready, taste test. <laughs> Jump. I think I did something. 